we're looking at a decline in enrollment of somewhere in the vicinity of 800 to 1,000 students. 800 to 1,000 students, um, the, the money just generated as a result of that are significant and they're certainly in the, in the vicinity of uh, um, eight to ten million dollars. So that requires us to do things differently. We have been reflecting on all aspects of our operations for several months now. And what, knowing that this was coming based on demographic projections, we also know that it, we were going to have to do things differently. Out of these difficulties, what we were looking to hopefully achieve is to minimize impact first and foremost on students. We think we're achieving that. Um, secondly, we'd like to minimize to the best of our ability the impact on employees. These are real people who are being impacted upon this. This is extremely difficult. It's, it's excruciating. But it's something that has to, has to be done. And in the context of this, uh, difficult situation, we see opportunity. Opportunity for our students, opportunity for greater learning. Um, so that is what's caused us to move um, in this direction. We are not, and I reiterate, we are not closing libraries. We are retooling. We are moving resources um, to the students in what we believe is, uh, is a better way. And we are continuing to have the space, and we are going to redirect the space in another way um, so that we can foster greater digital learning for our students, what we call 21st century learning. And we'll have background information and a plan as, for implementation on the 24th. We'll be presenting that um, to the board in public session.